Today we're going to show you how to tailor your suits, jackets, and blazers. We're going to talk about the different places you can take in and let out and the uh, different prices for each. At Jess Sounds here, we recommend tailoring because it gives you, it gives it more of a personal feeling and it also makes it fit better in your body. If you can't afford a bespoke suit that's obviously custom tailored to you, this is the next best thing. Yeah. So wh whether, it's, whether it's brand new or thrifted, you can go ahead and tailor the suit to make it your liking. So the first area we're going to cover are the sleeves, which is right here. So usually you have about one to two inches to take in or take out. It's about 15 to 30 bucks. And uh, yeah, so either they'll, they'll bring it up or bring it down. But what you got to be careful is that if you bring it up too much, it's going to meet the buttonhole and then that's going to look not so great. So you want to buy a, buy a jacket that's at least close enough to your length that you only have to adjust either a half an inch either way. So the next area which you should honestly never have tailored is the shoulders. This is the only place where you should make sure your jacket fits because it's going to be really expensive probably 70 to 100 bucks and you can only take it in. Yeah, we always recommend you try on your jacket first, making sure it fits, because if it's too big, it's going to be really expensive to bring it back down, and if it's too small, there's no way you can let your shoulders out. Then you're so, handing it down to your yeah, little brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you're donating it back to the thrift shop. Now the third area is the bottom of the jacket. So this can be tailored, so a lot of the old thrifted jackets are going to be a lot longer. But if you do tailor it, you have to make sure the balance on the suit is still aligned. Because, as you see here, if you, if you trim the bottom, the button becomes closer to the bottom. Whereas if you leave it natural, it's further. This will also affect the look of your pants, depending on how high or short the rise is. If you don't have the right cut of jacket, if it doesn't fall out the right spot, it's either going to make your legs look super short or super long. And for the most part, you never, ever want to cut a suit jacket. The suit jacket and the pants are made together, and uh, the suits are a tad bit longer. So if you do cut a jacket, try to cut a uh, blazer. Right, because blazers are made to be worn with... It's a single piece. Exactly. And you can just try it out. And the pricing for this usually ranges around $15 to $40. So it can be pricey. The next area of tailoring, though, like the shoulders, it is also kind of frowned upon, is you can take in the lapels to make them thinner. There's no way to make them wider, obviously, but if you maybe thrifted a, an old school suit with huge peak lapels, you could bring them in a little bit to keep it a little bit more modern. Those 70s, you know the it, 70s, and it was really wide. But some of those jackets, they'll fit you nice and trim. Right. The only thing is that they're really wide. So a, uh, a good tailor will go ahead and slim them out and make them nice and modern. Exactly. This can be pricey, and you need a more experienced tailor. So usually that runs you about thirty to forty-five dollars, depending on on who you go to. Yes, and how wide and how thick the, the actual uh, lapels are. Right, how much construction they're actually yes. doing? Or deconstruction. They're right, right, right. Yeah. And uh, the final, the final area, which is the most common area that you get tailored on a suit, is the waist. Yes, most important. So, yeah, you, you see a nice trim waist it gives you a great silhouette. It actually really brings out the image of the jacket and how it's supposed to be. I mean, ready to wear suits are made to fit everyone's body type and everyone's body type is different. So if you have if you have wide shoulders and you need the big shoulder jacket, like you need to wear a 42, 44, and um, you know, your waist is a bit smaller, you're gonna have to take it in because you're just gonna look like a... Speaking from experience, correct? Yeah. Okay, see? <laughs> so George wears about 42, 44, yet his waist is about my, the same size as mine, right. so he would have to trim the waist, which cost him about $25, almost flat, no more than 30 and, it, and it's going to give him a nice silhouette for, with his broad shoulders. Exactly. And that's that's what really is going to make a suit look good. Women and, and men appreciate that. I mm -hmm. mean, if I see that in a guy, I'm like, wow, that guy really has his suit tailored. Exactly. It makes you really appreciate it. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if it's a $10 suit or a $10,000 suit, as long as it's tailored right. It's gonna look great. And the last area of tailoring, which is kind of cool, kind of different, is the stitching. With well, the stitching, you could even make it your own by adding a different color, really personalizing it for one's own suit, giving it a little bit of touch of, uh, I guess, boldness. It's exactly. Really cool. So this usually runs about, I want to say, twenty dollars, and you wouldn't really do it on all of it, 
just on specific parts. Right, like a few, like the, the bottom button here, the lapel slit here, the, maybe the buttonhole that you close it with. Yeah. But not, not too many, not because the contrast stands out because it's a contrast. And if you do everything that color, then it's not going to be original anymore. And it can and it can cost you. In twenty dollars, you just exactly. That'd be sixty dollars if you do all. Don't that. waste your money. <laughs> so a little fun fact about the lapel slit right here. It is now used for lapel pins and lapel flowers was actually used as a method of fastening your hat to your suit jacket so if it was windy or someone tried to steal your hat there would be a little cord that came and buttoned into so your suit jacket right so it would just fall and land you know right next to you and no one could steal it because they'd have to take your whole coat to steal your hat exactly so it was made specifically for gentlemen in chicago the windy city so when they would walk to work and when they, when they would get off the train, mm -hmm. they, get off, they would go to work and the hat would fly off, but it would still stay right attached to them, so they would never lose their hat. So that wraps up our video on how to tailor your blazer, jacket, and suit coat. Um, be sure to subscribe to Jens Lounge and uh, follow us at Jens Lounge on Instagram. Hashtag your pictures, hashtag Jens Lounge. And uh, thank you to RNT23 for these lovely blazers and jackets right here. They are amazing, and uh, be sure to check out the links below for what we're wearing and links on uh, this jacket back here. Thank you.